Right, today we're off on a wee trip uh, to see one of our sponsors who's going to put some new Gucci stuff in our, in our Landover after seeing uh, one of our videos he said that's not quite good enough come up and see me and we'll do this so that's where we're off to the day here we are you've seen us leaving and we're coming to one of your sponsors today and who are they uh steve cassid i'm from ruskin design who are going to help us with uh, we're going to trim your seats in the finest leather Steve? Um, good question. Seats, front seats, yeah. second row and the dash. Um, just talking to Amy who thinks that maybe as it's blue on the outside and the blue leather might might introduce some black or some other. Yeah I think some black highlights would be good wouldn't yeah. it? You know yeah. like because uh, then we go with it it goes with the design of the vehicle anyway yeah. the grey and yeah. black. Yeah. I think that would be really good. Just here with Amy, Steve tells me you're the expert and everything to do with the, 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 the leather yeah. and all the other coverings. Do you want to tell me a bit about them please? Um, yeah of course. Um, so we usually start with an auto grain leather which is our basic range. Um, it's hard wearing, it's just basic neutral colours, nothing too flashy. It's got quite a nice grain. So it looks a bit like this. Yeah. So it's just got quite a nice. There's a little bit of texture there to it as well, texture, yeah. Nothing too flashy. Uh huh. Um, we go through to all sorts of different kinds. So we go through to like vintage leathers. Which That's beautiful, is that isn't it? A bit less hard yeah. wearing, yeah. but still. Yeah, it still looks good still though, doesn't it? Strong enough to. Yeah handle the day's wear. Um, yeah, it's just, this one's an aniline leather, so it's a bit more um, softer and yeah. more more showy than the yeah, yeah, yeah. Um We have all different yeah. thicknesses of leathers. So kind of expedition way, I mean, what kind of stuff, because obviously we're looking at hardware yeah. now, what would you recommend for that? I would say probably one of our thicker leathers. Have you got anything you can show me there? Yes. So we have, this is Grampian, yep. so it looks a little bit like the Auto Grain, it's got a slightly smaller Yeah, I can see that, yeah. um, I'll just get in there so we can yeah. see that texture. Yeah, I can see that. That's like something you get in a leather satin or something yeah. like that, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, it's a bit thicker, it's a bit stronger, it's yeah. got a bit more wear to it. Yeah. Um, we have smoother ones as well. Walk you through. Um, so we have... This is one of the Caledonian ones. Oh yeah, that's nice as well, isn't so it? So it's completely smooth. Yeah. Like the Grampian, it's thicker, so it's more yeah. hard wearing, more for if you've got pets or anything, or like yeah, going yeah. on an adventure. Um, yeah, so they're probably the more adventurous yeah. ones that I would suggest for your expedition. Yeah. Um, what else would you like so, to know? <laughs> being our vehicles are blue and black. Yep. Yeah. What would you suggest for that then? I would suggest going with more solidly black with highlights of the blue mm -hmm. through, maybe I mean, a little bit of the gold. Yep. Um, sort of, we could add in a little bit of a different texture, so combine some of the leathers. Oh, yeah. So yeah. it makes it a bit more. It becomes a showpiece then, yeah. doesn't it? Like, you know, like, yeah. uh, and it's but still hard wearing. Absolutely. Still yeah. A, Okay, for your, for your expedition. Well, that's um, absolutely brilliant. So yeah. other things you do, like, so it's not just leather seats you no, do, is it? What other we, things do you do? We offer tweed, we offer Alcantara or Dynamica, um, which has more of a suede feel to it. Mm -hmm. um, any fabric you want, really. Um, and you do, like, door cards yeah, and uh, door roof, cards, lining, roof lining, dash, dash seats, cubby boxes, cubby boxes, office chairs. Uh, office chairs as Because we've well, already yeah. had some office chairs which yeah. are absolutely fantastic. Yeah, no, we, yeah. Uh, so there's a good range of stuff there, isn't there? You anything know? you want, we will do anything. We've had some very strange requests recently, so... Okay, well, we yeah. could come up with some of them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, absolutely, bro. Thanks for that, yeah, Amy. I really appreciate it.
So this is all the uh, the different patterns uh, that they use, made of cardboard, which they use to then mark out on the table. I take it this is the first table, uh, Steve, yeah? They mark it out on this table, and as Steve's just been showing us, because they're a natural product, uh, hides have some marks on them. And you can just see there, there's a, a little mark there being marked, and they work the pattern around the mark so they, they kind of cut where around the, around the, the blemishes and stuff like that so that doesn't go into the actual finished product uh, and that's it and work. then you go so you clean it first don't you steve yeah yeah uh yeah well it's first cut and then it's padded or laminated yes uh, whatever thickness it is depending on which part of the vehicle yeah. we're, we're trimming and then it gets cut yeah to perfection yeah and then it's over to well, you can see here look, there's, there's so it's at its first cut so yep. now i've got the uh the padding on and now we'll cut that round the yeah, yeah. score lines and how many people you got working here 10 and it's important to say that you're a veteran owned company aren't you that's right yes, ex, ex royal navy yeah. ex 18 years yeah there you go yeah. and that was only last year I left. yeah oh, yeah yeah you, you only joined there a couple yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so how many patterns would you say you've got for different vehicles well they, they are mostly defenders yeah, and strange because that's most of your business, isn't it? As yeah, defender, it is, yeah. yeah. And what people don't realise is that a de one defender comes off the line, and it's a different uh, defender to the one. Absolutely, we find that out when we build yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, uh, so it's important to say that, like, and and then it goes through the process of on the table here, gets all cut out and finally marked. Yeah, it's all, all cut out, finally marked, and it's over to the sewing the sewing machines. Right? So you can see over here, you got all the sewing tables here, yeah. different sewing tables along here. Another one in the cubby hole there above the Ruskin design. Yep. And then from there it goes to the fitters. Is, yeah. And is that what you call them, the fitters? The fitters, yeah. yeah. The yeah. fitters. And who have you got? We've got, we got Brandon and what's the other guy? Brandon, Lydon. And Lydon, who we spoke to earlier on. Yeah. And Matt. And Matt. Yeah. So they're all your fitters, are they? They are indeed, yes. And we spoke to Brandon earlier on, who's now become a little bit of an inventor. He's doing cubby boxes, doing not he? That's right, he has And he's, he's yeah. kind of making his own cubby boxes he might up to it. He's making more than that if he keeps going like he's going. Oh, so I reckon, I reckon sure, yeah. so. And, and that's magic that they've got an input into it as well, Absolutely. isn't it? Absolutely. Because that makes yeah. them feel good then, doesn't it? Everything's bespoke, so the creativity that we generate here is down to uh, whatever mood yeah. they're in. Well, it's all that you need to be the right frame of mind to come up with something, Absolutely. don't you? So, yeah. yeah, we've got patterns, but the designs are fairly unique to each individual design. So, get through the designs, I've just noticed your office chair over there, which I had a look at. You've got one in your office as well. Yeah. I know you did ours in our colours, but let, let's have a look at that seat okay. there. Yeah. Is, and what's the leather you've used on here? It's the contrast, it's the thing, isn't it? Yes, it is, yeah. Yeah, it's a nice uh, heritage leather. Um, I mean, that is stunning. Like, yeah. you, you, I see you've got your logo in here. Your logo goes on all your products, doesn't it? It does, yeah. yeah. It's the, the, the guarantee. Yeah. 100% our workmanship for the life of the owner. Yeah. And um, I've noticed you've got some of these over basically the same pattern for a Defender, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, which is these ones here, isn't it? Yeah, but... What we're trying to do is match, uh, so a client will get the uh, his interior retrimmed, and if he wants the office chair, we'll match it in the style of the trim of the interior. So well, like for us, yeah, right yeah. for you. Exactly. You're doing that for us, aren't you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, so I yeah. think it's important. We was uh, speaking to the girls earlier on that we're going to kind of match the interior to the exterior of the vehicle, so yeah. Yeah. it's kind of seamless when you go into the vehicle. Yeah. It looks. The yeah. colours are the same, Absolutely. all that type of thing. Yeah. So that's stunning, mate. I suspect we're going to have to put some embroidered uh, logos on your front seats as well, aren't we? It would be nice. Yeah, it would yeah. be. <laughs> it's good on the office seats, I can tell you yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah but make sure you get your logo on too. Yeah, 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 yeah it'll be on. Always, um, yeah, it always gets down there. What oh, does it down there? I never noticed that in our yeah. seats, to be honest. No, it's our secret logo. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So you can't pass it off. So we, we can't thank you enough for the support, mate. It means a lot to us because yeah. when it works out when we're doing it, the veterans that we help, yeah. they go in and see that. And again, we spoke about this earlier on the, yeah. when we were having lunch there, that you know when you see something that looks really good, you get confidence straight away and, and, and the, the confidence levels grow. If you go into a vehicle that looks like a bag of crap, guess what, that's how you feel, yeah, sure. you know, and so and it's you about, the inside either, then, do you? it's all about respecting the vehicle, isn't it, yeah. and it's funny how when you've got a heap of crap, yeah. that's how you treat it, yeah. 
get something nice yeah. you want to keep it nice yeah. you want to keep it clean yeah. and, and that's important so we got some criticism recently about it doesn't look like an expedition vehicle because it was nice carpets in there and nice uh, trim in it yeah. and now we're going to have nice seats but what do you want to drive about you want to drive about something that's comfortable or well, not i don't think an expedition is about deprivation <laughs> it's about uh... absolutely <laughs> Yeah, as we say in the so. army, I don't know if you ever say that in the navy, but we say I'm rough it as an art to be comfortable in there. Yeah, I won't say what we used to say in the navy. About us, <laughs> about us pongos. <laughs> <laughs> right, we've just been and picked up the vehicle from Ruskin Design, and I wanted to do this big reveal of all the leather work that's been done in the vehicle uh, after you taking you around their workshop and showing you what they're going to do. But unfortunately, they, uh, they ripped the dash out to do the dash and it was a bit of a problem, I'll show you. Right, the light's not brilliant. If Billy can get in there with the camera, you can see all the rust that's in there. Now, I know many people say that could repair just by putting the plates in and stuff like that. But we are wanting to do this vehicle to a high standard. So, uh, unfortunately, it's going to need a new bulkhead. So that's the next stage, which is a real pain because we've painted the other vehicle. We're going to have to strip it all down so we can get a bulkhead in. And then, you know, it's just the position we're in. Because there's no point doing all the work we're doing to it. And that's sitting in the background. So the answer is, we're going to order a, a bulkhead from Shielder and get that done. That's the next task. Right, we've ordered the bulkhead from Shielder. We're hoping it's going to get here for the, the build weekend this weekend so we can get all the boards around it like, uh, and get that stripped down and a quick turnaround and then get it back up to get the leather done uh, so fingers crossed it's, it's tight because we have to get the bulkhead here and we have to get it painted uh, that's undercoat and uh, the black coat and soundproofed before we put it back on the vehicle first build since Covid uh, started which has been a long time coming uh, we've got quite a bit of work to do uh, we were supposed to be doing a bulkhead uh, kind of re removal today. We were supposed to replace it. We were waiting for a, a bulkhead to come from Shielder, which didn't turn up. So that, that plan's been scuppered. And what have you found, mate? Yeah, not good. Obviously, so this is Yellow, yellow Peril. This is our left-hand drive one. Um, as you can see, it's not yellow anymore. This is great. Um, so we just got it back from Leicester, where it's having all, all the leather done. Because the guys up there, when they, when they took... Um, the dash and everything off they found that the bulkhead was was pretty bad so we brought it back down to do the bulkhead which we were hoping to do this weekend couldn't do it because the bulkhead's not here anyway also needs a fuel pump in the back so me and my illustrious son here george that was a job we were going to do do the fuel pump uh got underneath it found a, a little a few little um, bits of bobs on the shell on this on the chassis that i didn't like and this is what i found so this is one way how not to repair a chassis. These are patches of metal that have been glued on to the chassis. And when I say glued, they've used mastic to stick it over the hole to make it look like it's had a weld. As you can see, that looks like a weld. And then they just put wax all over the top of it. Um, so we've just, I've just literally pulled that off the chassis with my hands. Um, and and you, what's the result of that? And as you can see, We'll show you the hole now. So I don't know if you can see in there, that's one of the holes down there. Just see it there. Bad. And now it's starting to creep this way, look. Yeah. Further towards the front. And it's the... even bigger on the other side, isn't it? And even worse on the other side. So, and I've had a look at the rest of the chassis. It's not too bad, the rest of it, but there are points. To be fair, we were told when we got this, it probably in a new chassis. Yeah. Yeah. So we're not, look, we're not that disappointed. It is what it is. But you've also discovered the sump has been damaged as well. Yeah, so by looks of it, prop, um, prop has failed in, in the past, somewhere along the line, and it's caught the, it's caught the sump and cracked the sump. And so someone, we and just, or, repaired it. We just yeah. ordered new ones there. So yeah, so somebody's repaired that. Looks like, just, like, just one of those things, if you're going to do a battlefield repair like that, that's fine. But when we're back into a workshop environment and not doing much, we, it needs to be repaired properly. And can I say, this wasn't us. This no. is how we bought the vehicle. Yeah. So, uh, like, so we are going to put a new chassis on yeah. with a new bulkhead. Yeah. And then build it back up. just build it back up. And, it. And, build it back and up. it'll be almost like a new vehicle. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, then we're going to have the leather interior done. So we'll I'll need to put, I'll need to put them off like, yeah. and uh, till we get this done. Yeah. yeah. So we'll crack on with that. So, so yeah. we'll start stripping out, yeah? 
start stripping out and then we'll get the chassis and then we can do paint the chassis and get on with it. Yep, okay. Yeah.